Hey guys, last week we did a fun video where we took this Ram 2500 Cummins and we put it up against this Ford F-150 all-electric lightning in a tug of war. And the results were kind of interesting. Let's cut to that video. Three, two, one. Oh, it's close. Oh, they're just digging in. Pressure control is off. Get back in. <laughs> All right, well, let's not burn out these trucks. All right. Let's let off. Three, two, one, let off. <laughs> All right, let's go see if anybody won. I think the Ram wins it. No, the, the Lightning wins it by a hair, dude. And that's because of that instant torque. Now, all of you guys in the comments said, why don't you put some numbers to that video? And that's exactly what we plan to do today. What are we doing today, Andre? Big numbers. Yes. So we're towing 10,000 pounds. We're gonna load up this uh, skid steer on a trailer. And I wanna do energy efficiency yep. comparison and also zero to 60 with a trailer. So how fast it would take you to merge onto a very busy highway? Yeah, diesel versus electricity. So at the end of this video, you're gonna have numbers because Andre's here. So let's start by loading up the skid steer uh, onto the Cummins and taking that to our zero to 60 test road. Let's do it. So while Andre loads up the skid steer, let's talk some numbers. First and foremost, this Cummins will tow up to 20,000 pounds, but the trailer's 3,000, the skid steer is 7,000 wet. So we're towing 10,000, which is great because that's the max amount that the Lightning can tow. Now in terms of torque, uh, this definitely has a lightning beat. It's got about a hundred pound foot more of torque than the Lightning, but the Lightning has electric torque, which is instantaneous torque, whereas the Cummins as a turbo has to spool it up. Three quarter ton versus half ton. But you know what? Electric trucks with all of their instant torque and all of their horsepower are kind of competing in the heavy duty space. So this may not be as much apples to oranges as Granny Smith's to Red Delicious. Howdy folks, I am here with this star of Northern Lightning, our Ford F-150 Lightning, and I have other stars, and all of which you're gonna be able to meet at the Overland Expo, including me. Yeah, that's right, we're gonna be hanging out between two and three on Friday at the Overland Expo to meet and greet you guys, but there's somebody else who's gonna be there as well. That's right. Um, it's going to be in Loveland, Colorado, 26th and 27th of August, 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Come by and see us. Where are we at, Andre? We're at the Four Wheel Camper booth. And guess what, guys? We've got some stickers to give away. Nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, holy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, you almost slipped it over backward. Holy sh Holy cow, Andre, you almost did a wheelie. Was that on camera? That was on camera. I think, uh, I got bad news. I think you usually back these things up. I just remember that for that very reason. Uh, so last time we loaded this thing up, um, we had David load it up. Yes. Uh, and I think we just made a really big rookie mistake there. You, you almost uh, did a wheelie off the back of it, which would have not been good. So I, I applaud you for your, for your <laughs> balls. Courage. <laughs> Courage. Watching that was terrifying. Okay. Uh, so I think oh. the, the way you usually do this is you load them up in reverse. Well, so, because the diesel engine is in the back? Well, because that then lets you keep that down so it won't wheelie, if you see what I'm saying. Yeah. And that'll prevent it from wheeling. So I think we're kind of at a position now where we have to unload this so it doesn't wheelie. With, uh, without much of an angle. Yeah, so maybe we'll yeah. back it up to the hill so that yeah. it's kind of a more of a straight. Uh, but we can, we can certainly okay. transport it. But, but it makes for good video, right? Yeah, you've got balls, <laughs> my man. I am impressed. <laughs> Please, no nasty no. comments. We're learning as we go along here. That was quite the fright for the day. Well, okay, I learned something. Yes. Uh, keep your bucket down. Keep your bucket down. Or go in reverse. Or go in reverse. I yes. Think, I think when we go off of it, we'll do it up against the hill. I need a sticker that says, uh, keep your bucket down. 
<laughs> Can you make that for me? <laughs> Keep your revs up, but your bucket down. <laughs> All right, so uh, where are we going to? We're going to our uh, usual testing road, right? Yeah, dead end road. So we're really towing about half of this uh, truck's maximum ability, right? Yeah, it's a funky one, right? Because this Ram 2500 has, like you were saying, uh, just over 2,000 pounds of payload. Yep. Um, and I think this Cummins diesel was born for this. Yeah, for sure. Right? Um, it's got a heavy frame, it's got really great suspension for heavy loads, it's got an exhaust brake, um, it's got tow haul mode. Um, it, yeah, it's got everything. It also has a uh, 1,000 pounds more weight than the Lightning does, right? So this this guy weighs about 8,000 pounds. Yeah. Lightning weighs 7,000 pounds. And that makes a big difference when you're towing heavy. Yeah, and it's all about stability, comfort, right? Confidence, right? All those things have to be in place. And of course, towing mirrors, which are nice. Yes. And also range. Yeah. Well, range, yes. Driving range, right? That's a big part of it too. I mean, we're doing a short trip and we're comparing, right, diesel, traditional, let's call it the Champ, right? Yeah. Versus the Challenger, which is the new electric pickup. I think the, the other thing that has to be acknowledged though, Andre, is that when you're towing with a diesel engine, you're still using a lot more fuel than yeah. when you're not towing. I think yeah. people forget that because what'll happen is people will focus on the fact that the Lightning loses a ton of range when you're towing, but so does this. Yeah, totally. Maybe half its range is gone yeah. completely when towing. But this just has a lot more range to begin with. Yeah. The so. energy density of the diesel is great. And how does it feel? Does it feel pretty stable? Oh man, yeah. yeah. It's I, I don't I think I'm not even towing. I All mean right. uh really 10,000 pounds. That's yeah, cool. it, it's not breaking a sweat. We're going what now 50, 55 miles per hour and uh yeah, it's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I love the sound of the diesel revving up, right? The turbo spooling up, the truck the, the exhaust brake. The exhaust brake. That's such a cool sound yeah. uh, that you know the lightning can't touch. Uh, and especially uh, when you're working, right? It feels like it's working hard, which it is. Yeah, totally. But now we're just, you know, easy peasy rolling at about, what, 1300 RPM. That's what diesels do, right? Low RPM, long distance. That's what they're famous for. All right. Well, uh, let's see how quick uh, this truck is from zero to 60. Uh, and then we'll swap trailers and we'll see if the Lightning can keep up. In terms of horsepower and torque, uh, this one has more torque. Yes, but, but that one has more horsepower. Way more horsepower. Yeah, yeah this is 370 uh, horsepower in this diesel and 850 pound-feet of torque. That one's 770 horsepower. Uh, that one is 580 horsepower. Okay, sorry, I got that wrong. 70, 75 pound-feet of torque. 700, so, the, so I got it backwards. So the torque is close, actually. Yeah, so 770 pound-feet of torque, you said? 775. Okay, 775. All right, Andre, I've got the numbers here. Okay. What do you think? What's, what's your, what, what's your okay. guess? Okay, so the trailer, I'm guessing, is just a hair over 10. The truck is about 8, so total 18,000. They're very close. Look, show them. What? What is it? Oh, 17.6? Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, so the trailer, apparently uh, 9,200. Well, plus the tongue weight, right? 45 plus 4, that's 85. So we have about 700 pounds of tongue weight, which is not ideal. Yeah. But this truck is so stable. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. All right. Um, what kind of hitch are we using, Andre? Dude, as always, take a look. Uh, we always use Gen Y hitches because they're heavy duty, height adjustable. Uh, this is a two and a half inch shank, solid, and also multiple heights. So, really, really great hitches. All right, so uh, we're going to go uh, to our um, 0 to 60 secret location Yes. Uh, and see how quick this does from 0 to 60. Then we'll swap out trucks, see how quick the Lightning does 0 to 60. Are we okay with 700 pounds of tongue weight on the Lightning? Well, it's a, it has to be apples to apples comparison. Yeah, so it's right? got to be that. It's got to be. Uh, and then we'll go back to the scale and we'll weigh the Lightning as a second way and find out how much that weighs and you'll have all sorts of numbers you can comment on. Yes. You know, you've got your CDL every time. This is like being a little kid, right? There are yes. these little cards they put in there. Yes. Look what we got there. Ooh. Oh, boy. That's a big rig. This is going on my wall. It's going on your wall? <laughs> that is, a, that's a Super Truck Limited Edition Series 20 collectible. And I guess these are the people who operate this fine, fine truck. Fine machine. Yeah. 
Andre, I'm gonna stick outside of the truck to give this the best possible chance. I you know it's taking like over 200 pounds out of the truck. We've already got too much uh, time weight. It's not gonna matter. All right, go for it. All right, thanks. All right, so I have tow haul mode enabled. This is a mile above sea level. You have to be mindful of that. I have a 373 rear axle ratio. I have my diesel. I have my six speed 68 RFE transmission. I'm gonna brake torque it just a touch and I'm gonna launch it into space. Okay, so the old ready. It's breaking loose! The big diesel! Ooh. It's a um, good sound, build up of power, and transmission shifting smoothly, and bam! So that is 18.19. So 18 seconds, zero to 60, hauling, what, 10,000 pounds. Okay, so usually, if this truck was unladen, this time would be at least half. So it would be at least about nine or under nine seconds, maybe eight. But, but that wasn't on the launch, it was after I got going. I, I know, you laid a bit of an 11. <laughs> All right, so, awesome. so what was your time? 18.19, huh? Yeah. That's, uh, you know, that's slow. It's leisurely, yeah. but it, the sounds were great. Yeah. And take a look at my MPGs, dude, come here. 11.1 according to the trip meter 11.1 after 25 miles yeah all right all right well let's uh, hook up the lightning and see if we can uh, do a little better than i mean 18's okay but you know merging onto a highway you need to be a little bit quicker yeah all right okay. let's swap them out okay Okay, so now I have reset my trip meter in the Lightning. No active trailer. Let me select the trailer. This is an iron bowl. I'm making it active. And then I'm also gonna go into tow haul mode. And also, one pedal driving is still active. So I don't have an exhaust brake but hopefully I have one pedal. Actually, it's disabling one pedal drive. Roman, I just enabled tow haul. Yeah. And look, it grayed out my one pedal drive. So yeah. it doesn't want me to use that. How do I? Well, apparently you can't use it. We used it in the past though. Uh, so in normal mode, yeah. maybe it's just kind of a lesser regen setting. One pedal pause. drive, pause, press brake, pedal to reduce speed. So it wants me to use the brake pedal. Interesting. Well, you know, it's almost. mixed, right? The brake pedal is also regenerative. Yes, so it's, yes. It's doing so it wants the driver to initiate right, that right, right. rather than the system. Yeah, so, so it's not like you're not getting regen. All right, what's your guess? 15. I think it'll be faster. What do you think? I'm going to be bold. I'm going to say 14. 14. Okay, 14, well, yeah. we'll, we'll see. All right, let's all right, see. Okay. Good luck. All right. Instant torque. Instant. Okay, well, this is at the maximum. This, this lightning is maxed out. It's... 10,000 pounds rating on this puppy. This is a Lariat extended range max tow. Okay, I'm just gonna mat it. Okay. Power is building gently. It's actually very low drama. <laughs> 10 10.6. <laughs> 10,000 pounds, no. <laughs> you know, at this same location, we tested the TRX before with a heavy, uh, big giant camping trailer, the Black Series, and that truck, the TRX, did a 9.5 seconds, but that camping trailer weighs way less than this. Case said 16. Yes. You said 15. Yes. I said 14. Yes. All right, what's the truth? We're all wrong. Okay, all right. And we're dead wrong. Oh! 
<laughs> this is unreal. Oh my god. 10.6. Th there are many hot hatches that would be happy with that zero to 60 time at a mile above sea level. Not at sea level, but at a mile above but sea level. But this is maxed out. I know. <laughs> well, there's one number that's a shocker. <laughs> All right, the other shocker might be how much energy we use. Yes. So, shall we drive back? Uh, yeah, well, let's get to the scales first. Let's, let's go wait and then we'll, we'll yeah. drive to the ranch. Okay. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Dude, that was a shocker. Yeah, that number was, you know, I was at 14 and I thought I was being pretty cheeky at 14. Uh huh. And, you know, you were that's, 15, Case was 16. That's crazy. Dude. It's a lot of weight you're moving. I know, 10,000 really? pounds. Yeah. Um, but the thing, the, the second thing I noticed during that acceleration, it was zero drama. There was no tire squeal, there was no big noise. The truck just kind of accelerated and linear. The power was pretty linear. It was, it was, it was impressive. Now, of course, all the comments are going to be like, "Yeah, but try to tow to California with that." <laughs> and we know, guys, we know, uh, electric trucks have a much shorter range when it comes to actual long-distance towing. Uh, but you know, there's some upsides and there's some downsides. Yeah. Isn't that the way of the world, Andre? Right. And we have to rem you have to remember you, when you convert electricity to kind of energy inside of a gallon of fuel, right? It's that means this lightning is carrying about four gallons. Yeah. So just think about that. We're carrying about four gallons worth of energy and we're doing this. The next question that we still have to answer, of course, is how much energy are we going to use uh, towing across? And then, uh, did you check? It's about much? it's about 25 miles we have to go. Yeah, did you see how much, how much what, what percentage we were in? Uh, not, yet. not yet. Okay, let me look, because that's important. Uh, and that's the thing about this, dude. It's really complicated to get to the battery percent. The charge, there we go. So we, we're leaving at 85 percent. Yeah, approximately 85. So we'll see how much we lose going, what, 25 miles, right? Yeah, and we're also gonna give you miles per kilowatt hour. Yeah, so right now we're at 0.9, which is about as bad as electric vehicles get. Yeah. <laughs> Bigger that like that little mini SE we have, mm -hmm. that'll do like four uh, miles per kilowatt yeah, hour. Yeah, but it's not towing 10,000. No, it's not towing 10,000, <laughs> but it is hauling a fat ass rolling. <laughs> All right, so let's get to the scales, dude. All right, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see like how, if this thing is indeed about a thousand pounds less, right? Yeah. That's the number we're looking for. All right, Andre, what's your, what's your guess? Uh, the um, Ram was 17,640. How yeah. much do you think that the Lightning weighs? Well, according to the information I have before, I would say a thousand pounds less. No. What? Look at that, 16,920 versus 17,640. So that's about 800 pounds. 800 pounds less, yeah. So actually they're closer than I expected. Yeah, huh. there you go. So about 800 pounds less, that's pretty interesting. Uh, and and what truck did we get? Yeah, we gotta see what truck we got this time. <laughs> <laughs> like little kids with baseball trading cards. Oh, look at that's pink, Andre. <laughs> yes. Look, look at that guy. Oh, wow. I bet you that belongs to a trucker lady. You're right. Yeah, look at that. It is a trucker lady. Yeah. We've <laughs> proved that they have similar torque, similar weights. Yep. Approximately. But electricity has a lot more power. Yep. Or speed, I should say. No, uh, actually quickness. Quickness. Speed is top end. Okay, so quickness. So now we need to figure out how much energy we're going to use. Yeah, so let's go back uh, to the ranch and then unload. <laughs> we're not flipping. <laughs> I say that with trepidation. <laughs> but let's see how much energy we use pulling 10,000 pounds. So let's head on back. So Andre, now we're on the highway, heading back. Uh, like I gotta say, I can feel the weight just as a passenger. A little bit more? Yeah, can you? It's, it, there's that little bit of that, like you can feel the, the trailer pulling and pulling and pushing and pulling, you know what I mean? Yeah, and there's a little bit like of a vibration yeah, a coming little, through yeah. the truck, a little bit. Yeah, definitely uh, the Ram is a little bit steadier. Yeah. It, you know, it's just a more, let's just call it a more natural athlete. Well, I, I think it just Towing matched, athlete. yeah, matched closer to the trailer than this truck. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, totally. you, you can tell, power-wise it's fine, but there is a, definitely a trailer behind this. Yeah, but you know what? I'm just partial throttle. I'm just easy going. As far as power, like you said, no issues. Um, the trailer is not uh, wagging us. Yeah. But like you said, we could feel the trailer, is, it's, it is there. We, we dropped down to 181 miles of range, but that really means nothing because it's just guessing, you know yeah. what I mean? So uh, 
we'll see how it does. When we towed 6,000 pounds uh, with those uh, toy haulers, yes. you know, we were barely able to get 100 miles, but those were like a brick into the wind. So I'm assuming this is a little bit better because it's a little bit more aero. Yeah, it's really low. Yeah. yeah. So it's probably better for aero, but weight is still a big factor. It is a big factor. So, we'll see. So we're doing, oh, look at this, 0.9 miles per kilowatt hour, and about we already used 4% after about 7 miles. So yeah, we're using energy, dude. Yeah, and by the way, let's talk about that. Yeah. The one pedal driving. So people may be thinking that it's not regening. It's got a blended system. And what I mean by blended is even when you're using the brakes, you're using regen basically. So you don't have to have one pedal driving to be regening, right? Yeah. Either you're using the brake or the truck is doing the one pedal driving, but they're both regening electricity back into the battery. As much as it can. As yeah. much as it can, yeah. yeah. So just because you're not one pedal doesn't mean you're not. And is it when you get let off, is it is it actually slowing you down? Like, not, not as much as no. one pedal would. Really? So look, I just let go and the whole thing is still kind of moving along, but it's showing me that I'm doing regen. So it's not like having, let's say, uh, an exhaust brake. Not quite that aggressive, but I still, you know, we're slowing down, but not as aggressively. Okay. All right. Which is weird. You'd think you'd want to use that. But when we did the Ike with it, you had... It did really well. You had one pedal, right? And it actually held you down. Uh, slowed you down going down the back side of the Ike. Yeah, we never picked up speed. Yeah. We didn't have one pedal. The regen was working well. And it did slow us down on the mountain. So that was good. How much uh, weight were you towing for that one? 8,000. That was also pretty heavy. That was also heavy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Check out that video. Yeah, alttfl.com. Yeah, well, yeah, that, that was a that while was a, ago. So <laughs> just you just know, search it. Yeah, yeah. You know what you could do? Uh, you could just go to uh, TFL Truck and search it. Yeah. So Andre, you just had the epiphany. We're at one mile per kilowatt hour. How many yeah. kilowatt hours does this battery have? One hundred and thirty-one. So if we do the math, Andre. <laughs> It could be 131 miles of range. <laughs> at one, at exactly, you can see it here. Why don't yeah. you show it to him? Yeah, one. At one mile per kilowatt hour. One. So, that would be actually good. That means aerodynamics play a big effect. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, <laughs> so instead of um, getting like 100 miles, we would get 131 miles of range. By hauling heavier. By hauling heavier. This is odd. This is this is odd. But you know what's even odder? What? <laughs> that uh, you probably wouldn't go 131 miles unless you really want to run out of electricity. Yes, it's you a, wouldn't. Because you would need that little buffer. Yeah. And also you would have to wait a long time to charge up again. Yes. Right? And you probably wouldn't get across either Wyoming. No. <laughs> or some other western states because the superchargers for Tesla might be closer together, but the Electrify America CCS chargers are not that close together. No. Because we've tried that and we couldn't do it. They will be at some point, Yeah. but today they're not. Right. All right, so um, let's finish up this drive. Should we hand off uh, to the Rivian? Oh, look at that Look, there's a Rivian. I'm seeing a lot maybe, of Rivians, maybe, yeah. Maybe they, they want to tell us. Have you noticed? Here's something weird. For all you Rivian people out there, yeah. you never notice the lightning. We always notice Rivian, but you never notice the lightning. Same thing for all the Tesla people. I, there's like, there, you can't, you know, shake a stick without hitting a Tesla in Boulder. Yes. And, and all these like electric people are like, do 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 do. I've got an electric car. Look yes. how good I am. And I pull up in the lightning, and they're like completely oblivious to the fact that and it's know, also electric. It's also electric. Yeah. Same thing with the Rivian people. Right? He didn't even notice us. And it'd be because the styling of this thing is so subtle, right? That it that it doesn't scream electric truck. I don't know if that's good or bad, but it is what it is. You know what? I also haven't seen. I just um, saw an HHR. Uh, yes, <laughs> but but I haven't seen a Rivian towing in the wild. Have you? No, you're right. I have never seen a Rivian towing. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a lifestyle vehicle. <laughs> That's a, for all you uh, Rivian people out there. Come on, just admit it. You're lifestyle people. <laughs> you want to go camping and surfing and, and fishing and exploring, but but hauling uh, skid steers is <laughs> nothing. Not it's not something that's on your agenda. I'm guessing, but I think I'm right about that. We started at 85 percent. Now it's 68. So what? 17 percent? Yeah. To go 25 miles. Yeah. And we're at one mile per kilowatt hour. Yep. You know what that means? That means I, I think it did better than I expected. That's what that means. Yeah. Yeah. 
it's it's okay. I mean, you know, like you said, you're not gonna cross Wyoming like this, but you could tell to your next job site. Well, let's if it's uh, local. Let's wrap this up. All right, Andre. So this has been kind of a by the numbers, uh, but let's go over two of the most important numbers. But before we do that, let's recap. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the Ram first. So what was the fuel economy? Did really well. 11.1 mpg. I think that's really great for. Uh, a diesel truck like this and with 31 gallons of fuel it can go over 300 miles like that all right and then uh, our zero to 60 time was 18.9 10.6 this was a surprise and this is 1.0 miles per kilowatt hour and the range of about 130 ish an interesting fact there is with a range of about 300 miles you're cutting it in half by towing 10,000 pounds yep all right, and then the most important numbers, and you know, we'll leave you to discuss the rest of this in the comments. How much do they cost? Yes, yeah, so the diesel 2500 Bighorn Ram Night Edition, 68,000. All right, and the Lightning, 81,000. That buys a lot of diesel, dude. It does. That's a big difference. About what, thirteen thousand dollars? Yeah. Even at five dollars yeah. a gallon. Yeah. All right. Well, there's one thing left to do in this video, Andre. Are you nervous? Can I back up against the hill? I would back up against the hill and I would keep that bucket way low. Okay. All right, let's see, let's see you unload this bad boy because we need that skid steer here at the ranch. Okay. Not on the truck. Not on the, <laughs> not on the trailer. <laughs> okay. Or junkyard. <laughs> yes. Okay. What do you mean junkyard? Well, if I flip it. Stay back.